Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. We are working through the Ten Commandments of Franchise Research, all right? And we're getting towards the end. Hopefully, you've watched the other videos for every commandment. This one is commandment number nine. Here's what it is. Call at least 10 to 15 franchisees, all right? You must call 10 to 15 franchisees of the concept you are looking at. Believe it or not, these days, even with all the wonderful information that's available online about how to do research on, on franchises, there are still people today that are buying franchises as we speak right now as you're, as you're watching this video that are buying franchises and they've never talked to a franchisee. It, it makes no sense. Who better to talk with than someone who has already written the check and owns the business? Please call them. Now, here's what sometimes happens. Uh, when it comes time to call franchisees, you may get a list of franchisees um, uh, from the franchise or from the franchise salesperson. And uh, these are maybe six or seven franchisees that they, that they recommend you call. Now, the reason they recommend them, twofold. Number one, these people are usually very successful franchisees, and that's fine. And number two, they're used to getting these phone calls. All right, so here's what I want you to do. Call one or two of them, and now don't tell anyone this. Don't tell anyone I said this. Use them for practice. What I mean is, since they're, since they're people that are used to getting phone calls from would-be franchise owners like you, take advantage of it. Ask them questions and practice because it's a little uncomfortable calling franchisees, calling people you never talked with, and asking them kind of personal questions. So call one or two that the franchisor gives you. Ask the questions. Know that they're successful. Know that they're going to be easy to talk with. And use them as practice. That way, when you call other franchisees randomly, which is the key, you'll feel more comfortable because you've done it a couple times, all right? So you're going to want to ask questions like, would you do it again? If you, if you knew what you know now, would you still buy the franchise? I mean, it's a great question to ask. And then you can get into some more detailed questions that require some answers, such as uh, describe the franchisor. How, how do they operate? Um, are, are they good to you? Uh, please tell me about their systems. What technology do they use? Is it good technology or are there a lot of problems with it? And speaking of problems, if you have an issue, is the franchise department, the franchise headquarters folks, are they easy to work with? All right, you need to ask them that. If you have a headache with something and you call headquarters, do they respond quickly? Are they easy to work with? Here's what I found. Some franchisors are really, really good at selling franchises, but six months later when you're in business and you have a problem, they're kind of a little hard to get a hold of because they have your money. Now, don't get mad. It happens. You know, all businesses are like that. All business models have, have good players and bad players, all right? Now, the best way to find out ahead of time if the franchisor is going to be responsive is to ask the franchisees what they've experienced when they've had problems. That way you know ahead of time, all right? These are things you must ask the people who are living the dream, who are working in and on the business because it's their own business. There are 50 plus questions that I include in the Definitive Guide to Franchise Research. The link is below. But the most important part of this whole thing of franchise research is calling existing franchisees. You must talk with them, and I even teach you how in the book. There, there are certain ways to ask, all right, so you can get the answers. It's not hard if you know what you're doing. Thanks for watching. I am the Franchise King, Joel Lovato.